Alfred here, and I'm going to walk you through another ADP sleeper that I've been combing through uh, as we've gone through draft season. So we've already talked about Montrell Johnson, Malik Neighbors, and Jermaine Burton. Now I'm going to give you another running back that I think can help you out at an incredibly low, low ADP cost. And that is Jordan Houston of the NC State Wolfpack. This is a 5'10 or so, 190-pound running back who showed up on a campus and was actually very productive as a true freshman. You can see here his rush market share was over 20% uh, his freshman year. Now, granted, this was due to some injuries. Ricky Person got injured, and he basically split time with Zonovan Knight that freshman year, and they were both freshmen at that time. Since then, his production has gone way down. You can see here in uh, years two and three, very much an afterthought in the backfield. But as a freshman, he also not only was he a, a pretty heavy volume for a freshman from running the ball, but also he was the most used in the passing game between Houston, Zonovan Knight, and Ricky Person. Now, granted, Ricky Person was injured, but Zonovan Knight played, and Houston was the go-to pass catcher, uh, accounting for over 6% of the team's receiving market share. Again, he dipped in year two, and in year three, he battled a, a ligament that he suffered in spring, a torn ligament in his foot, and it really just wasn't quite the same. So prior to the 2021 season, um, he did tear that ligament, and it basically limited all year. The team really likes Jordan Houston. He was used as a true freshman, and now the depth chart is wide open for him to at least have one senior year of glory for the Wolfpack. Now, this is a backfield that has mostly split between two running backs over the last two or three seasons. We saw it in his freshman year as him and Zonovan Knight when Ricky Person got injured. And for the past two seasons, it's been Person and Knight splitting time almost equally in that backfield. This uh, NC State running backs have accounted for over 1,500 yards each of the past two seasons, including almost 2,000 yards last year, over 10 TDs on the ground, and over 50 receptions as a backfield for the past two seasons. That's over 50 each year. So this is a, a backfield that is used very heavily in the offense, and they like to throw to their running backs at NC State. Jordan Houston walks in as the veteran leader. He's been told this is going to be his year from all I can read coming out of Raleigh. And the backup running backs, one is a true freshman, and I think the other one has not had a collegiate carry or, or maybe under 10 collegiate touches, something like that. So he's by far the most experienced. I think at least to begin the year, it's going to be the Jordan Houston show. If he looks good, they're, they, they're not going to have a big reason not to feed him in this offense this year. Do I think he's got NFL upside? I'm not sure. That's why his ADP is way buried down the list. But it's simply just too low. He's currently going as the running back 161, which, depending on how deep your league is, I mean, could be completely undrafted. You're talking about a guy who's going to potentially shoulder – a very heavy workload in a good offense in a defense-free ACC conference this year. He's my running back 76 because I am not convinced that he's going to be some premium NFL prospect, although he has a history of catching passes. And if he can show the ability to be a third down back, show his pass catching prowess, he could easily come onto the radar as an NFL pick, probably like a day three guy. The lack of NFL upside here is not a foregone conclusion. I, I mean, he's just – he's completely an afterthought. He was injured last year. I get it. But coming into this season, he's the back at NC State, and this is a good offense. He absolutely can help you on the college side. Uh, with those receptions, he's going to get in uh, in a good offense. And you know what? I'm a firm believer that running back by committee is more of a function of your personnel rather than uh, uh, an overarching coaching philosophy that's going to be applied year in and year out. They had two good backs in Zonovan Knight and Ricky Person. They decided to use both of them. I'm not sure they have two proven backs this year uh, with Jordan Houston and a few other guys and uh, an incoming uh, freshman. Now, they may be pressed to use two guys, but I'm not sure they are going to enter the season saying we have to have a 50-50 split. Therefore, I think Houston can certainly be an asset on the college side. And anytime you're talking about a Power 5 guy that has even one really good season, you're looking at a potential NFL guy. 
So uh, I like Jordan Houston and stay tuned. We're going to keep pumping these out. I'm going to try to kind of comprise an entire quote unquote starting lineup of undervalued guys. And so be looking out for tight end and quarterback uh, coming soon.